Hello everybody and welcome to the Throwback Gaming Lobby. Be sure to grab some popcorn, kick back and enjoy, because the lobby is open and that means it's time for a brand new video. And happy Throwback Thursday to everybody watching. We're going to continue with our Wario World Let's Play in this video. And the last time we made a video for Wario World, we finished off the first area, which was Greenhorn Forest. And we defeated the first boss, and we of course got the first gold statue out of many more we're going to find in the game. So, let's go ahead and continue on with the next part of area number one. So it's quite a little bit of a walk, so. And it's cool because every single world you go, like, almost, like you're moving up in the world. It's kind of cool. So now we're in Greenhorn Ruins. So first thing you want to do is jump up here. Grab that button. Now the important thing is, if you destroy that, you have to backtrack. Make sure you also... Uh, just, you know, go for everything here. So there's already two treasures right off the bat. The red and the yellow ones. So we're going to go ahead and beat some of these little guys up here. Alright. And there's our first Sprightling right there. If you're surrounded by monsters, pull out a mad move and knock them out with one blow. While you're holding the monster up in the air, rotate the control stick to do a wild swain ding. If you jump and press the R button while holding a foe, you'll do a pile driver. It's earth shaking. Yeah, that would have been useful... That's the only, my only critique, is that they should have told us that in the last level before we face our first boss. So you want to make sure you... So I'll show you guys the Whirly Girl. The, um, the wing... The, was it the spin? What, did, what was it? This, the Whirly Bird? That's what I'm going to call it from now. The Whirly Bird. And there's our second Spriteling right there. The Wild Swing Ding. I like mine better. Is a spinning move. And the pile driver is a ground pound move. Master the fine points of these two mad moves to turn gears, break down iron doors, and deal with tricky traps. Use your head, Wario. Now, that's kind of cool because, as you can see, you gotta spin. And then you wanna open that gate up and you punch the button and we get our third treasure now you want to be careful not to kind of like fall down so i'm going to grab this little statue head here because you can also use this now these doors you can only open with an enemy or one of these you got a ground pa okay it just didn't let me through for some reason i guess we're gonna have to do this the hard way all right give me him i'm just gonna have to try the pile driver again there we go. And this is our first taste of the, uh, the bonus world here, so. Uh, okay, no, that's not what I'm supposed to do here. I'm supposed to do this. Nope, I screwed that up. Alright, so. There we go. Now, you want to punch that. Nope. Come on. Come back down. Okay, is it just not going to come back down? There we go. And you don't have to actually, like, be this specific, but I'm going to grab all of the coins because I don't like to miss things here. And there's the crystal we need, and we're out of here. Sorry about my first fall. It's been a little bit since I've done that level, but it's pretty simple. And there's our third sprite wing. Using the glue globes on the walls up ahead, you can jump and stick to the walls. When you see these sticky orbs, try some of your moves. 
When jumping to a glue globe, check your footing, mark your goal, and then jump. It takes practice, so don't get frustrated, okay? Uh, well, I will not promise anything, but I'll try, as I do it easily. But it's not always that easy. So before I do, I'm going to... Yep, I, I did that on purpose because I wanted to just get rid of those guys. Yeah, see? Sometimes you make mistakes. That I did not do on purpose. That was an accident. Alright, so... Alright, so... Um... There we go. Alright, so there we go. There's our third treasure. And we're gonna go ahead and go in here because we have another bonus world to do. Alright, this one's a little tricky. Oh. Yeah, you can't get the, uh, the coins with the, uh, the mouth thing. So I'm trying to kind of make sure I avoid those little spike things, because those things really, as you can see, they hurt. <laughs> And I'm out of here. I can survive without the little half um, heart thing. I can survive without that. So I'm going to go ahead and go up here and make sure I don't miss anything. Uh, I don't think that's the right way. Nope. I got to get that later. So I'll show you guys how to do that. So climb up this chain here. And we're going to also meet a little mini boss here. So this little... Uh, I don't even know what to describe it, like, this little toothpaste-looking thing. What you want to do is you want to grab one of these, and you want to use a pile driver or the little, uh, the swing ding or the whirly bird, whatever you want to call it. And you want to do it, I think, three times? Yeah, and I hit with the laser. Yep. And then once you do that... You want to grab it, same thing, and pile drive it. All right, now you want to climb down this little chain here. And you can knock that down to make a little mini wall for yourself. And that's useful because we're going to have to go back. So let me just go ahead and clear all this so I can get some money and punch the button. And we're going to go ahead and backtrack over to the, the green treasure chest, which is it's right over here. So we've got, I believe, four now. I think we still need the pink, the blue, and both purple ones, I believe, if I remember correctly. Okay. What's down here? There's a gold statue right over there. I definitely want to get that. Alright, so... There's a blue treasure right there. There it is. So I got that one, and a little gem area. Um, all right, uh, make sure I really take the camera. Oh, that's, that's just sad. There it is. Let's get out of here. All right. So now we got that treasure unlocked. Now before I go through there, of course, I want to... Okay, am I just not going to be able to go back up there? There we go. 
Grab that. Oh, he usually gets enraged, and I'm surprised that I was able to beat it. Do a little whirly bird. Can open that. And there's another button you want to hit right there. I'm going to use these to grab that. That was the statue piece we saw earlier. Now you want to break down this over here, and jump over here, and there is the blue chest. And we're just kind of plowing right through this. This is a pretty simple level if you think about it. All right. Um, okay, I didn't mean to fall into Unithorn's lair. That's not fun. Let me get out of here. Oh. Sometimes you can get lucky and you can find the spring really quick, but I don't think this is going to be one of those times. There it is. I meant to... Yeah, just... It's kind of a long way, so... I'll just start the video back up again when I get back over there. Because it's just a lot of backtracking. Okay, so we are now over at that part. By the way, all you have to do is just kind of uh, go back to the area right before I hit the light blue button and just go up the glue globes. So now what you want to do here is punch that. Have the statue and the gem, and we are out of here. Nice, quick, and simple. And a sprite wing. Let's go ahead and grab that. There's a battle ring up ahead. One minute battles begin when you enter battle rings. Fight everything that enters the ring. The number of coins you get depends on the number of monsters you defeat, so fight hard. Yeah. This is pretty simple, by the way. So all you really need to do, as I said, it's a minute. You defeat as many of these guys as you can. And don't worry about grabbing every little coin. So, like, even if I miss a couple, you're going to get, like, a big payout at the end based on how many monsters you defeat. So, like, what I do... Pile drive the heck out of them. There we go. And just oh. oh, I missed them. All right. And just pile drive them. Oh, what the heck? Yeah, you gotta pile drive these ones. And then this chest will give you all your monies. So I got about 200 coins from that battle, so... I'm gonna go over down here. There's a purple button up there. I need to get that, so... Um, nope, that's not how you do it. Oh. Let me go ahead and grab one of these guys because there's a bonus down here that I need to do. Oh, I didn't get it. That's not fun. Let's try that again. There we go. Alright, now... And of course, these are obviously easier early on. They do get harder. So... go. And we're out of here. Nice, simple, and there's a statue piece. And in some of them it's okay, because if they don't drop a statue piece, I mean, obviously there's a lot of opportunities for gems, but we don't like to miss things over here. So, I'm gonna go ahead and hit this, and that'll be useful for later. There's a sprite wing, I can hear him talking. So we're gonna go ahead and do this area. There we go, got that one on the first try. Alright, so there's a gold statue right there. Nope. Yeah, 
you don't have to you do have to finish the world in order to save the statue like if you happen to um to grab it there we go simpler way is the better way i guess um yeah because if you just exit with the spring um at the beginning then you can't actually get it so oh nope don't want to fall down there Look at that, another button. Oh. I actually was spinning the wrong way, and that actually can happen, so... Come on, give me a big one. There we go. Right now. go. Alright, and there's a bonus area back here. Let's go ahead and do that one real quick. I'm trying to listen for the, the sound. Oh, I can actually see it. That one I can see. I think it's this one. Yep. Alright, there we go. Yeah, if you're really careful, you can listen for the sound of the gold, um... Oh. There we go. There's the purple chest that I, I needed. Oh, nope. Darn. There we go. Let's do the spin move again. Alright, there we go. Nope. Very carefully jump. There's the Spriteling. Many more of my friends are being held against their will up ahead. If you see any of them, I'd really appreciate it if you'd save them. You'll be rewarded for coming to their aid, of course, Wario. We know how you like rewards. So, um, okay. Off you go, Wario. And I think this is the last one. Alright, so I got all the Spritelings. I am missing a statue piece. And I think it's down there. So before I do the boss, which I will show you in this video, I know this is going to be a very long video, so my apologies for that, but I am doing this in one go. So, yep, there it is. I can see it. Literally just walking ahead, grabbing the head, and I'm out of here. So, boss battle time. It's weird, because that iron door you can just butt-bounce through, and it doesn't matter. So now you gotta beat up this really weird-looking quicksand guy over here, so... Alright, so yeah, all you gotta do is, like, just punch him a bunch of times. It's really not that difficult. Like, it's just when he gets faster, it can get kind of annoying. When he's spitting out those little... Those things right there. You want to be careful not to get hit by the, um... Oh. And obviously not to fall in the middle of the quicksand, because that is an instant death. So you don't want that. So once it slows down... That was actually a bad idea that I just did. Like, jumping up that high, which was not smart. Um, Alright, I'm going to go on the sand. Because I think... Nope. Ah, I missed them. There we go. So we're almost done with this guy, and once I finish this boss, guys, I am going to end the video, so make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel so we can show you guys more of these videos. Okay, he is spinning on a lot. Oh, no. Oh. Okay, he's way too close to the bottom. I'm not going down there. All right, come on, come closer. There we go. Got him. So yeah, make sure if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, like this video, hit that notification bell to be notified whenever I post something new, leave a comment down below, and as always, have a great night, and stay humble.